So all the techniques that you learned in Core 2 with differentiation can now be used and extended as part of Core 3. Now, that means that any questions to do with stationary points, uh, tangent lines, normal lines, anything like that can then be continued to be asked as part of Core 3 uh, with extended differentiation skills. In this video, I want to highlight the key differentiation techniques of polynomials that you looked at and with negative and fractional indices. So I'm going to work through these four examples of just trying to differentiate each of these in turn. So this first one, y is equal to 3x to the 4 minus 2x to the minus 1. So dy by dx. The 4 comes down to the front and we take one off the power. So 4 times 3 is 12. Take one off the power. So we have 12x cubed. The minus 1 is going to come down to the front and become plus 2, and then take 1 off the power. So x to the minus 2 now. Let's look at the second one. So the half comes down to the front, so 4 lots of a half is 2. And then take 1 off the power, so half take away 1 is minus a half. And then the minus a third will come down to the front, so we now have minus 5 thirds x, and then take 1 off the power. So minus a third take away 1 is minus 4 thirds. Then we get on to number 3, and number 4 for that matter, where really we want to rewrite these equations first, so that we have it as x to the power, okay, in this index form. So we know that the square root of x is x to the half. And minus 5 over x is the same as minus 5x to the minus 1. So then I'm able to differentiate it much more easily. The half can come down to the front, take 1 off the power. And then the minus 1 can come down to the front. So now plus 5, x to the minus 2, because I've taken 1 off the power. Now we're going to do the same with number 4. So we have 4 over the cube root of x. So that's 4x to the power of minus 1 third. And then minus 2 thirds x, uh, minus 2 over 3x to the 6, sorry, is minus 2 thirds x to the minus 6. So dy by dx for this fourth one. The minus a third comes down to the front. We're going to have minus four thirds x. Take one off the power. We're now going to have minus four thirds. And then the minus six is going to come down to the front. And multiply with that minus two thirds. So I'm going to have plus 12 over three, which is four x. And then take one off the power, the minus seven. Okay. And that is a perfectly valid way of writing my answer. Okay? And that's how we can differentiate these four. 